Hello, hello, lovely humans of Earth. We have Mock the Week. I haven't watched any of this in a while, so I figured why not? I found this compilation, Unlikely and Strange Exam Questions compilation. Now, I don't believe it because every time it's a Mock the Week compilation, it's just the title is just like one of the things, but whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, I like the show. I like the format as far as I'm aware of. I don't know. Let's just watch. <laughs> Now we come to our final quickfire round called Scenes We'd Like to See. This is for everyone, so if you could make your way over to the performance area. I caught ideas for scenarios we'd love to see, and the performers come in with their suggestions. Was that David Mitchell? Okay, here we go. The first subject is questions that were rejected from this year's exams. If the answer is nine, what is the question? <laughs> <laughs> when you finish this exam, please will you turn your paper over and mark it. <laughs> Using Darwin's theory of evolution, explain Boris Johnson. <laughs> by the year 2015, the population of the Earth will have increased by 20%. How do we find Kerry Katona and stop her? <laughs> I don't know who that is. It is David Mitchell. Complete the following sequence. 16, 35, 24, 8, 9. Now open the safe, grab the stuff and get in the getaway car. <laughs> An object is travelling at 750 miles an hour, encounters resistance and slows to zero. For how many months will Richard Hammond have to wear nappies? <laughs> don't know who that is. Or why he's wearing nappies. <laughs> on the diagram below, show on the body where you like to be touched. <laughs> <laughs> Describe Uranus without telling your parents. <laughs> Oh. Amy is 16. At least she said she was. How much <laughs> trouble are you in? <laughs> Complete this crop rotation. Wheat, fallow, rock festival, BNP rally. <laughs> if everybody in class A is called Tom, Thomas or Tommy, and every second boy in class B is called Tim, Timothy or Timmy, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> <laughs> on likely questions from this year's exams. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Discuss the metaphysical meaning of the following poem. My friend Billy has a ten-foot willy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Would you like this exam to be A, multiple choice, or not? <laughs> <laughs> False. The Bronte <laughs> sisters. Shag, marry, push off a cliff. <laughs> Discuss the following. The Nazis got all their ideas from the History Channel. <laughs> who was the chap in the A-team who would not get on the aeroplane? Was it A, B or B, A? <laughs> <laughs> if a bank loses £60 billion in a six-month period, using numbers that you've plucked out of thin air, <laughs> work out what the chief executive's bonus will be. <laughs> Okay. Napoleon, a small man or a long way away? <laughs> <laughs> Quantify n in terms of q when q is a positive integer that dissects a parabolic curve. How's your lucky pencil case now? <laughs> I didn't get that. <laughs> he did. What's the name of that round thing that they throw in the Olympics? <laughs> Discuss. <laughs> Draw a diagram of the genitalia of the male elephant. Use all 30 sheets of paper provided. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Biology. Without singing, what is the knee bone connected to? Explain the use of juxtaposition in Macbeth. Alternatively, write down everything you know about Macbeth in a blind panic, cos you've got no idea what the word juxtaposition is. <laughs> OK. Drama. Question one. What was it that first made you want to become a waiter? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
What is your pin number? <laughs> uh, oh. Okay. Here <laughs> okay. We go. The first subject is rejected questions from this year's exams. All right. I didn't realize they reused <laughs> these topics. If sine A over A equals sine B over B equals sine C over C, what are the chances that you're ever going to use this in your sodding that <laughs> over? <laughs> According to Germany, how much is Greece worth? <laughs> One mark. <laughs> <laughs> Exam board of Zaragoza. Paint Jesus. <laughs> what? I don't understand what Jonathan he said. is a Nigerian prince. What are your credit card details? <laughs> <laughs> Three girls in this hall are pregnant. Who's the daddy? <laughs> Compare the following. A, the market. B, <laughs> the meerkat. <laughs> Heat the crystals until they produce a vapour. <laughs> Inhale. <laughs> the exam seems easier now, doesn't it? <laughs> Without swearing, describe Peter Andre. Is that him? I don't know. Mental arithmetic. Count up the voices in your head. <laughs> Too many. Using the paper provided, roll a joint and pass it round. <laughs> sure. Does this look infected? <laughs> oh. In the recent Olympics, Great Britain won three times as many gold medals as Australia. That's not a question, just a statement. <laughs> All right. One Direction are incredibly popular. Explain. <laughs> Sport. How do you spell Akabusi? Is it A K B U C? <laughs> yes or no? <laughs> If Steve eats two apples, an orange, and a banana, why is he such a fat fucker? <laughs> <laughs> Questions omitted from this okay. year's exams. Using pi, distract the fat kid next to you so as you can copy his answers. <laughs> Using only the English language, write something. History. Henry the Fourth, Henry the Fifth, Henry the Seventh. Which was the greatest Hoover the caretaker ever had? <laughs> <laughs> Maths. Robert has 400 stamps. He liked to put them in 12 different albums. He wants to have them equally in each album. How many friends does Robert have? <laughs> <laughs> that was mean. Do you know the way to San Jose? <laughs> I do not. Religious studies. If two men have been married for ten years, for how long will they burn in hell for? <laughs> if the fluid has been flowing at 21 litres a minute for 15 minutes, what on earth is wrong with my bladder? Uh, <laughs> I knew it was going somewhere gross. <laughs> Fill your name at the top of the exam paper. If it's Tyler or Charmaine, get up, leave the school and never come back. <laughs> Using only the mass of the ass and the angle of the dangle, calculate the measure of the measure. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Um, yeah. If a man travels 12 miles each day to buy a loaf of bread, how long before he realises that living in the countryside is shit? <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Are multiple-choice exams too easy? A. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Optician's final exam. What do you think are the main causes of short-sightedness? And now? How about now? <laughs> and now? <laughs> what about now? <laughs> and now? I got Media it. Media studies, but... trick question one. 
Name a business like show business. <laughs> Geography. What is to blame for climate change? A. The sunlight. B. The moonshine. C. <laughs> the good times. Or D. The boogies. <laughs> okay, never heard that song, I suppose. Um, sure. I didn't know they repeated topics. Silly me. All right. There's too many references of people. I don't know. So that's why I <laughs> I remember that's why I watched this very little cuz I understand very little because I was not born and never lived there. <laughs> so, yeah. But anyway, there are some good moments. I don't know if this was exactly hmm my of all the things that could have been about my favorite kind of topic, but sure. It works. Anyway, there you go. Ta-da. I watched. <laughs> anyway, guys, hope you're off to have a fantabulous evening or whatever comes next. Um, if it's mega late and when you sleep, sweet dreams and toodles. <laughs>